an active group and such a large crowd. This is a little tribute to the fact of uh, nostalgia, history, and the idea of keeping uh, uh, something alive, which is worthwhile keeping alive, which is exactly the spirit within which uh, the Robert Jackson Center uh, was created. I'll give you a little bit about it. This is uh, currently a work in progress. Randy Sweeney, Kristen Stein are all part of the process. Harold's on the board, uh, so it's kind of like old home week. And in many senses, they're going to hear five minutes worth of what they've heard several times before. It's a time which is absolutely right for the study of Robert Jackson. I can't even begin to tell you the excitement that the project has created, not only in Jamestown, not only in Chautauqua County, but in Washington, D.C., and in places throughout the country. I've received a variety of phone calls, some of them out of the blue, just simply because they've heard about this project. The project, which I might add, really sort of took initial shape in December of this year started at a concept, a concept which well, normally you can have a concept, some, somebody has a brain, you know, brain wave short out and they, they think about it and then they go to a feasibility study, hire somebody to do a feasibility study, then they go out and they find a site and then they hope to figure out somebody who will fund this whole concept. This broke all the rules. We had a concept, uh, a one page vision statement, Greg Peterson put together a little bit of a video uh, on Robert Jackson. Harold was one of the stars of that. Showed it to a couple of, uh, in fact, three potential benefactors. All of a sudden they thought, hey, great idea, let's pursue it. Next thing you know, we're, all, we're walking through the Jamestown consistory, which happened to be for sale. Uh, we made a pitch to the members. The members, two Mondays ago, voted on the sale of it to us. Uh, it will close April 1st. We'll literally have our first event May 1st. Uh, that event uh, is sort of going to be a unique one, uh, Law Day, which is May 1st, and we're going to celebrate that by the main speaker being Eugene Gerhardt. Eugene Gerhardt wrote what I believe to be the only biography at this point on Robert Jackson. It was copyrighted in 1958. You probably have it here in the, the library. Eugene is 89 years old, spent time interviewing. Jackson, 1947 through 1954, and put together the book shortly after uh, Jackson's untimely death. But he's coming to town and he's going to spend a day or two to talk about his experiences with Jackson. Since that time, uh, Dan Bradley, who uh, was Chautauqua Institute president for 16 years, and was kind of hoping to gracefully go into retirement, uh, heard this whole concept, listened to my spiel and now he's going to be the executive director of the Jackson Center because of his involvement he's already been to Washington and though I'm not at liberty because the camera is on to tell you all the things that are going on uh, I can just tell you you'll be real excited in the next few months and certainly years as to how that is all going to interplay uh, in the Jamestown area and of course Bruceburg which is the home of Jackson spent his early years is all part and parcel of that process. We've had the privilege of uh, getting benefactors who've donated monies for the cause. So this is a real project, it's not a pipe dream. We will be up and going uh, through the good graces of the Community Foundation, the Fenton Historical Society, Jamestown Community College, uh, Chautauqua Institution, collaborations all over the place uh, are all stepping forward to become part, try to become a participant. I can tell you that there's a few assistant prosecutors at Nuremberg, all in their 80s, all have uh, contacted me, and we're hoping that sometime soon we'll be able to bring them back so they can talk about the Nuremberg experience, and in addition, uh, talk about the boss, Robert Jackson. It's all very exciting stuff. Uh, just going to kind of ratchet up a little bit the history of this area, and a lot of attention we played on Fruisburg, New York. Let me give a sales pitch. The sales pitch is if any of you have any anecdotal stories about Robert Jackson, it's important for us, as you're doing right now, archiving a lot of that stuff. And I'm a big oral history fan. So drop, hit me in the upside the head here later on tonight. 
I'd like to get your name and just spend a few moments, not necessarily tonight, uh, but getting those stories because that's exceedingly important in preserving the history of uh, Frewsburg, the history of Robert Jackson, and certainly the history of the area. Thank you.